everybody, this is George Marius and today I'd like to talk about some essential things that every touring musician should have with him slash her. At least in my opinion. And it's not necessarily what you think. Number one, antibacterial wipes. Okay, now this is a biggie for me and look, there are certain things that are not in one's control. Let's just say, for example, that you know, you just couldn't resist and you just had to try that spicy local delicacy that was offered to you. And then you're sat on the bus and instantly there's an urge and uh, you know, you just have to go and proceed to evacuation. And maybe, uh, you know, the bus is in the middle of nowhere and you just had to stop at that rundown cafeteria and the facilities, let's just say, are not up to standard. That's when those bad boys come in. In just a few seconds, you can go from no way to Okay, that will do. And for me, that's especially important because I'm a little bit of a clean freak. You don't have to buy the fancy brand. You can just buy the, the, the cheapest supermarket sort of own um, product and it'll, it will be just, just fine. So uh, spare yourself the stress and go get a few packs. Number two, wet wipes. I don't know about you, but uh, every time uh, before a show or before any sort of significant occasion, you know, no matter how good the preparation has been and how the fields department is, is you know, I, there's certain things that just need to happen. And I always like after those things have happened to feel refreshed and, and ready to um, seize the day. Wet wipes can be incredibly uh, beneficial in that department. Again, you can go for the value brand. It's, it's it's just as effective. Look, you can even ask the guys right on the first Pineapple Thief tour. I had antibacterial wipes on left pocket, left pocket, sorry, and wet wipes on the right, and I just felt invincible. I felt a little bit like um, how Aragorn felt in the third installment of the Lord of the Rings saga, where he went in front of the black gates to challenge Sauron to, to distract him from looking at Frodo and Sam uh, when they were sort of in close proximity from Mount Doom. You know, he was surrounded by thousands of, uh, of enemy soldiers and he just charged right in there. And that's how I feel when I have uh, those two products uh, in me. I, I feel like I can do anything. And last but not least, books look again when you're driving you might you know you might be on the on the road for like six seven hours till the next destination and i'm as guilty as everybody with spending too much time on um uh, instagram facebook all those uh, social media but um it's always good to just sort of just dive into a, a really good book so for this tour i have a, a bit of thomas Paine. I've got Ayan her CLE's book, uh, which is actually pretty great. I, I read the first half on the first tour, so I thought, you know, I'll finish it, the, the, the second half on the second tour. And this is a book on Greek mythology, and it's actually, uh, it's, well, it's written by a Greek writer called uh, Nikos Tsiphoros, and it's actually uh, like a funny take on the Greek mythology, so I thought it'd be a, 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 a really nice sort of um, uplifting read, you know, and I'm Greek, so, you know, um, makes sense to... Uh, try and keep in touch with the lingo. So everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you found those tips uh, valuable. Uh, okay, and uh, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Head to the link in the description for tickets for the upcoming Pineapple Thief tour and links to my socials and all that. Feel free to comment if you found any of those tips useful uh, or if you have any other suggestions for videos, uh, I will, uh, I will uh, take them into consideration. Take care.